SAP Business One Workflow in Release 9.0 utilizes a workflow engine that can automatically update the system, trigger applications to produce documents, alert users to take action, and even makes decisions based on criteria defined in a workflow rule. Automated workflow doesn't necessarily mean zero human intervention. The goal is to significantly minimize manual touch points by providing straight through processing in which human intervention is only required to manage exceptions. The organization OEC Computers has defined an automated workflow process which allocates a free gift item to all new customers by automatically creating an AR invoice for this free gift in the system when a new business partner has been added. We are going to show you how easy it is to create and implement this automated workflow scenario for OEC computers. Let's start by demonstrating the workflow process in SAP Business One and then we will step you through how we actually created the workflow in SAP Business One Studio. Firstly, we are going to navigate to our workflow manager under administration, workflow and then opening up the workflow manager window. We are going to import a .xbml file that we previously created called free gift item. To do this we select import and then we select the file that we want to import for our workflow and now we need to activate this workflow by selecting the activate button. Our workflow is now active. This workflow begins with a conditional start event and what this means is the start of this automated workflow is based on a condition that the business partner is a new customer. Conditional start events by default in SAP Business One workflow are only refreshed every 10 minutes. If we want to be able to refresh this workflow more regularly, we need to adjust the Business One Workflow Manager XML file. This file is by default located under the SAP Business One Server Tools. workflow and then we select our business one our b1 workflow dash manager.xml file by opening up this xml file in notepad we are now able to edit the file as you can see here there's a conditional event start interval and by default this interval is set to 10 minutes I have already changed it to one minute so my start event interval will be refreshed more frequently. Alternatively, you can also manually start and stop your workflow service in the SAP Business One Service Manager. Let's now trigger our workflow event by creating a new customer under Business Partner Master Data. As long as we are in add mode, we can now create a new customer. And the name of the customer will be Sally. Now I'm going to add my customer to the system. Let's navigate back to the customer that we just created. You can see to the right hand side that a user defined field is attached to the business partner master data, indicating that this customer is a new customer. This workflow requires a user defined field to indicate whether this business partner is a new customer or an existing customer. This UDF will trigger the start of this event based on the condition that this customer is new. If we navigate to Tools, Customization Tools, and then user defined fields management under master data and business partner we can see that we have created a user defined field let's have a look at the properties of this user defined field we've created a user defined field called is new its type is alpha numeric it holds a regular structure and we've set and defined a set of valid values for the field. Y indicates that it's a new customer and N indicates that it's an existing customer. We've also set a default value for the field being Y.
We've now added a new business partner to the system and in less than a minute the workflow event will start. If we open up our workflow tracking window under administration, workflow, workflow tracking and we select the status of the workflows as completed, we can see here that our workflow has already initiated and is now complete. We can actually drill down into the instance of this workflow. We can see that the actual workflow event is complete. If we now open up the last AR invoice that was automatically created under Sales, AR Invoice, we can see that an AR invoice was automatically created for my new customer called Sally and she has now just received a new tablet PC with an invoice total of zero because it's a free gift. If we go back to our customer that we created in the Business Partner Master Data, we can see that our user define field has now been updated and this is now flagged as an existing customer in the system. Let's now step you through the free gift item.xbml file that we have already created in advance in the SAP Business One Studio that actually makes this workflow happen. We are now in our SAP Business One Studio environment and we've opened up the free gift item.xbml file. As you can see, we have initiated this workflow with a conditional start event. And if we drill down into the code of this conditional start event, we can actually view the parameters and functions that we used in our code. Here you can see the condition of the query has been set based on the is new user define field that we created where the value is y, which indicates that this is a new customer. So in order for this workflow to be triggered, there needs to be a business partner in the system with this is new user defined field set to Y. Now let's review the main script task for this automated workflow. Let's select our new business partner script that we've created and have a look at the code in more detail. The code that we see here at the top here is the conditional start code which is currently being checked to ensure that our is new user define field is checked to yes. We then have an update function and this will set the user define field value as n for existing customers that have already received a free gift. The next chunk of code is where the invoice is added to the system automatically. We have an add invoice function which firstly defines today's date which will then be set to the document date in the invoice. We have then defined in the system which invoice we would like the system to create which is currently business service number 13 defined in the DI API. We then want the system to use the card code details based on the card code variables pulled from the parameters used in the initial code above. And then the next chunk of code actually defines the row details of the AR invoice, such as the item code, which was Z00005, which was our tablet PC. We set the quantity as one, we set the unit price as zero, because this is a free gift. And for this particular example, we had to set a tax code, which happens to be for California because this demo is based on a US localized database. And then the invoice service is automatically added to the system. This basically completes the code which automatically generates an AR invoice in the system for a free gift for new customers. This is a very simple example of how you can create an automated workflow in SAP Business One Studio and create this workflow in the system. With the workflow platform with SAP Business One 9.0, you have the ability to create much more complex automated workflow processes, minimizing the need for manual touch points by providing straight through processing. 
so check out the many workflow examples that are available on the SAP Channel Partner Portal.